Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to set up animation retargeting inside of Unreal Engine 5.1 as the system has changed ever so slightly from my last video on Unreal Engine 5. This one now just makes it a lot easier to do, a lot quicker and a lot more efficient, so I'm going to be going over covering how to do that today. So essentially, what we're going to do is have this animation you see on screen now go from this character to our own character. So I'm just using the base default UE5 mannequin, but you can also use any character you want. Or you can go from the mannequin to this character, it works whichever way. The process is the exact same for what I'm going to show you, or just have to swap around the targets so you go to the correct skeleton you want, which I'll obviously show you where to do that. So this is what we're going over and creating today. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first thing we want to do is we obviously want to import the skeleton and the animations we want. So you see here I have the export skeleton and this hip hop dancing and I also have my other skeleton which I want to go to which again like I said is just going to be the default UE5 mannequin which we should have here under meshes there it is SK mannequin. So again that's what we're going over but use any ones you want and this export here I have from Mixmo so if you do want some great custom characters and custom animations definitely watch my video on screen now where you can use Mixmo to get hundreds of free animations. But the first thing we need to do after we've got everything imported is we want to create some IK rigs. So I'm just going to right click here, go to animation and then go to IK rig and create an IK rig. And the one I'm going to start with is just the export, so the one the animation is currently on. It doesn't matter which order you do this in, but that's what I'm going for. So let's search for export and we have it here. So you have the export skeletal mesh. So make sure to search the name of the mesh, not the skeleton. So let's select that here. And I like to name these IKR for IK rig underscore and then the name of the mesh. So for me, that is export. So we have IKR export here and we're going to open it up straight away. Now in here, what we want to do is pretty much the same as before, but if you've never used it before, don't worry. What we want to do is we're just going to select the bones we want to add. So let's do the spine first. So we'll select spine, hold shift and then select the final spine, which in this case is spine two. And you can see here which bones these are selecting. So we have just the spine here. Then in the bottom right, we're going to add a new chain. The chain name will be spine. And you see it's going from spine to spine two. So it's going to do this automatically for us, which is why this is like a lot more efficient and a lot easier to do. We'll press OK. You can add goal to end bone, but I'm not going to do that. So we'll just press no goal. And you see now it's already done it for us. We have spine going from spine to spine two. The IK goal I'm not worrying about because I'm not using IK bones. But you can obviously set that up if you wanted as well. Then we'll do the head, so we'll go neck to head, add chain, chain name head, so again, and then no goal. So this is a very simple, very repetitive process, similar to last time, but it just makes it a lot easier for us. Also I've just noticed actually this has head top end as a bone in here as well, which I should maybe also do as well if I select them. Yeah, I will also add that. So a benefit of this is you can still just press the start bone and end bone here to very quickly change them over and modify them like that. It's not a final thing once you've done it, you can change it however you want as well. So let's go from right shoulder down to right hand. And you know what, actually I will select all the fingers as well. Add new chain, right arm, okay. No goal. And then sometimes it will glitch out and do it twice like this. This is just a bug which they might have fixed in 5.1.1. I don't think I've actually downloaded that yet. So don't worry if you get this. You can press OK, no goal, it will do it twice. Or in this case, three times. Or even four, it will just keep going as long as it wants. And then what you might get is multiple down here, as you can see like that. All you can do is just delete those. I'm not sure why it does it. It's just a bug, it's just a glitch. But again, no worries, you can just delete them afterwards. Now let's do the left shoulder all the way down to the left hand pinky four, and you chain left arm. Again, one thing I really like about this is it automatically knows what to name it as well, as well as obviously doing the start bone and end bone. It just makes it a lot quicker because that's one thing I didn't like about the old system was it was just really slow to do. Now, I wonder if I just press the X here, that will then mean we don't have to delete them afterwards. It will just add the one. So that's a better way of doing it. Then let's do the legs. So add new chain, right leg, no goal. And then let's do the left leg as well. Okay, no goal. Then the final thing I'm going to do in here, once we've added all of these in, 
is I'm going to right click on the hips and set retarget root. As you just want to make sure the root of this is the hips. Now it is already anyway, but we want to make sure it's the retarget root as well. So then when we set up the next skeleton, we can make sure they match to make sure the animations retarget perfectly. So let's save that and we can minimize this as that is all we need to do for it. We can now start setting up the IK rig for the other skeleton. So I'm going to go to control space, right click, animation, IK rig, IK rig. Then again, this is the other one I want to use. So I'm going to search for SKM Manny and actually now I want to go to Quinn, sorry. So SKM Quinn here. I'm going to again name this IKR underscore Quinn. And I'm going to open this up straight away once it has been created. So let's open this up and it's just the exact same process we just did before. So again you can see we have all these chains here, we just want to add in the same chains but on the other character. So it's very very simple and easy to do. So let's go from spine to spine, add new chain, chain name spine, spine 1 to spine 5, ok no goal. Simple as that it's done for us. Then neck to head, well I just selected the wrong one sorry, so neck down to head, add new chain, OK, no goal. Once you've done it a couple times and once you really understand it, it's actually very, very easy and simplistic to do and to understand. So let's go all the way down to here, add new chain, left arm. And again, with this, you can also see what bones are actually selected so you can see if you're doing the right ones or not. So we'll add that, no goal, and again, it's doing the same thing. I noticed it only ever normally messes up when you're doing the arms. Again, I'm not too sure why it happens, but it's no worry, we can just make sure we ignore it like this. It's doing it a lot for this one for some reason. So let's just get rid of all of these. Hopefully this is something they have already fixed or they fix soon, but we now have left arm like so. It doesn't mess anything up as long as you just make sure to remove them or not add them like I've been doing here. I just added spines as well by accident, so let's go back to clavicle R, scroll down, make sure you're reading these so you select them properly, down to clavicle pec R like so. Add new chain, right arm, no goal, and then we'll just remove all these extra ones. They're annoyingly there, but no worries at all. We'll just get rid of these, make sure we don't add them in. There we are. Now let's go down to the legs. So thigh R, all the way down to thigh forward walk R. Add new chain, right leg. And you don't need to select all of these bones, you can just choose which ones you do want to do. Obviously the more you add, the more better it would look but sometimes it might be better to do the fingers all individually so at the moment I'm doing the arm going all the way down to the fingers same with the feet down to the toes you might want to do just the arm to hand and then with the fingers all individually so index finger thumb all that stuff all individually add new chain left leg no goal easy as this and again the final thing we need to make sure we do in here is once all of these are gone is we need to make sure we set the retarget route as well so go all the way up, and now you see the root of this one is a bone called root. But of our X spot, it's not, it's the hips. So we want to make sure they match. So we're going to go to the pelvis, which is the hips, right click, and set retarget root. So you notice the root is different, but they're going to be the same between the two, which is why we do that, so that when we are retargeting it, they're using the same root to make it look a lot better. But you can see we have the same chain mappings down here. They have slightly different names, but you don't need to worry about that. If they had the same name, they would match up perfectly, but if they don't have the same name, we can just do it manually. And actually, I think they do have the same name, they're just in a different order, which is perfectly fine. So the final thing we need to do now is set up our IK retargeter. So we've set up IK rigs, now we need the retargeter. So let's go to control space, right click, go to animation, go to IK rig, and create the IK retargeter. And as you can see, pick IK rig to copy animation from. So this is going from and to. So I want to take it from the export. So I'm going to pick IKR export here. Then I'm going to name this IKRR for IK rig retargeter. You don't have to use my naming conventions. These are just ones which I like. And then I'm going to do underscore export. So I know it is the retargeter going from the export. So I'm going to open that up straight away. And you can see, firstly, we're zoomed in on his feet, so we'll zoom out. But this, again, looks slightly different from 5.0. But if you've never used that, don't worry. So again, you can see we now have the skeleton we're going from. In the top right, we can see the source IK rig, so we can obviously change that as well if we wanted. But the one we're going to change is the target IK rig asset. So that wants to go to the IKR, and then 
we can scroll down to Quinn. So we have IKR Quinn here. Now they're obviously on top of each other, which we don't want. So we'll just move the target mesh offset slightly over to the right, like so. Let's put them 250 like that. And I'll just move my camera over. And you can also change the scale as well if you want to. But for me, since they're the same size, it's perfectly fine. Now, one thing you might notice is the export is in a T pose and Quinn is in an A pose. That does actually make a difference. We want to make sure they are in the same pose. So in the top left, you can see current retarget pose. What we want to do is press edit mode. And then if we just select a bone, for example, clavicle L, we can then move this into the position which we want, like so. Well, that's the wrong one, sorry. Uh, so we'll move this up. This can be a little bit finicky. But you notice that's kind of not doing what we want. So let's not select clavicle L. Let's select upper arm L. And then we'll rotate it into position. This again can be a little bit finicky to get the correct one selected sometimes, but that's a lot better. So we'll rotate it up, and I've noticed I've rotated that up 60 degrees. I'm keeping note of that so I can do the other one the same as well. But you notice that looks pretty good between the two characters. So let's then go to upper arm R, and we'll do the same thing. We'll rotate it up 60 degrees so it's in the same position like this. Then if we press edit mode again, we'll be taken out and this is now the pose we have. So they are now both in a T pose. That is perfect. In the bottom right, if we go to chain mappings, you'll notice these are already done for us because they have the same name. If they have different names or they've not been done correctly, just press the source chain and change it to the correct one for you. We're going to be spine, spine, neck, head, left arm, left arm, right arm, right arm, right leg, right leg, left leg, left leg. So neck and head don't have the same name, but Unreal Engine kind of knows what it is you want to do. So it has automatically done it. And I think it's not only taken the name, but also the data of the bones in there as well to just do it automatically for you. But again, you can change it if need be. So then in the bottom right, we'll go to the asset browser and double click an animation we want. And you can see now perfectly, we have this animation retargeted from the export to Quinn. And this looks absolutely perfect. This has worked really, really well. Now, if it's not looking perfect for you, just make sure to double check the retarget route is the same and that you have done all the bones properly as well. So you might need to do more bones to make it look of higher quality, or you might need to do different bones, less bones, whatever, but just mess about with it and make sure it is all perfect. But you can see I have perfectly now got this animation from export to Quinn. Also, one thing which does affect how this looks is if they have very different skeletal structures, it's obviously not going to look perfect. So because these are very, very similar, they're both humanoids, this is going to work very well for me. But once we've done that, we can select the animation we want to export, and then go up and export selected animations. And you can put this wherever you want and rename it. I'm just going to go into content and press export. Then if we minimize this, we close that here, we can drag this on stage as well to be next to this other one we have here. So let me actually just move these about and I'll get back to you once I've got these in the position I want them in. So I think that'll be it for this video on animation retargeting in Unreal Engine 5.1. As you can see on screen now, we've taken an animation from a skeleton mesh and put it onto a different skeleton. So I've got a mixed mode animation with a mixed mode character, gone onto the Unreal Engine 5 default mannequin skeletal mesh. And again, it looks absolutely perfect. It's worked amazingly. And obviously I've used a, a dancing animation, but this can be used for anything you want. So just idle, running, walking, jumping, attacking, shooting, whatever it is you want. I've just used dance because it's obviously more visual, it's showing it off a lot better and you can see all the individual bones moving so I've chosen animation which moves every single bone to really show it off. But thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it's the best way to support me in the channel. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.